All right, so the next question is, what do recruiters look for in data science applicants? Please note that this is just a sample of what recruiters look for. There are many additional skills um, that might be out there that you guys might need to acquire. I just tried to summarize the nine top ones that you guys need to at least have. The first one is, well, a data science portfolio. Many recruiters are looking for projects, practical projects that you have built from scratch. And that's why I highly strongly recommend for anyone to build their own portfolio when it comes to data science applications. You can also leverage Kaggle and GitHub as well to showcase your work to future employers. The second one is, well, you need programming skills. You need Python programming skills or R programming skills. And please note that many companies, especially the uh, large corporations, established corporations, they require candidates to pass a coding interview. And these coding interviews requires or entails data structures and algorithms. The second skill that you need to acquire is data wrangling. As I mentioned before, pretty much 80% of the work of data scientists is to gather the data, clean up the data, perform feature engineering, and kind of data wrangling or cleansing. And that's why this is a crucial skill. And please make sure whenever you have a data science portfolio on your Kaggle or GitHub, for example, is to make sure that you include the data wrangling piece in there. And of course, a really powerful library in here is known as Pandas, and it works really well with, uh, within Python. And of course, in this course, we're gonna cover data wrangling using Pandas. The next skill that you guys need to um, kind of gain or acquire, and that's one of the key recruiters, key areas that rec recruiters look for, is statistics and math fundamentals. So you need to have a solid understanding of mathematics, statistics, probability, and optimization. And this is critical, of course. You might also need to have machine learning background or expertise, and you need to have the ability to build machine learning models to solve regression, classification, or clustering type problems. And you can leverage scikit-learn library to do that for you. And again, we're gonna cover machine learning and scikit-learn library as well in great details in this course too. The next skill and one of the key areas that recruiters look for is data visualization and the ability to tell a story through the data. So you need to have good reasoning. You need to have a good solid uh, processing skills as well, or thought processing skills. You need to be able to tell a story from the data. You can, of course, leverage many libraries such as Matplotlib, Seaborn. You can also leverage other tools such as Power BI and Tableau to perform data visualization. And again, I strongly recommend you guys include the data visualization piece in addition to the data wrangling piece in any of your data science portfolio as well. And please note that we will be leveraging Matplotlib and Seaborn quite a bit in this course too. The next as well area that recruiters look for is to have familiarity with machine learning frameworks. So you need to have kind of be familiar with machine learning frameworks such as TensorFlow or PyTorch, for example. You also need to have a strong communication skills. Basically, as a data scientist, you will be dealing with a lot of data. You will be doing a lot of analysis. You will be doing a lot of data visualization, cleaning. But people kind of, you know, in the leadership roles they don't really worry about what you have done when it comes to the data cleaning piece and all of that. They just need to know, okay, what should I do with that data? And your ability to gain valuable insights and kind of come up with a list of recommendations is really important and is super crucial when it comes to your uh, data scientist job. So your ability to gain valuable insights from the data and try to communicate that to leadership in a clear and concise fashion. And then finally, you can also improve your profile by adding certifications. There are many, many certifications available out there, such as the Azure Data Scientist Certification. There is also AWS Machine Learning Certification. There is also Google Cloud Machine Learning Certification, TensorFlow Certification, and many, many more. Okay? All right. So that's it. That's all I have for this lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the next lesson, we are going to cover what jobs are available out there. Please stay tuned, best of luck, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.